J'invite maintenant Naomi Van Niekerk, réalisatrice de An Ordinary Blue Monday. Bonjour. Hello Naomi. You <laughs> in English or in French? Um, uh, I can understand French, but I will speak in answer in English. You will you will speak in English. Okay. So you're from South Africa? Yes. I to be honest, I, I didn't know you you before the selection this year. And suddenly we received two shorts <laughs> that you made. So it's the morning for the prolific filmmakers this uh, today because we received five from, uh, four, excuse me, uh, by Nicola and, and Julie, and then uh, Alberto did a, a feature length and a short this year. So tell us a little bit about, about you, where are you from? Okay, um, at this moment I'm living in Johannesburg, but um, I received my training in France um, at l'Ecole Supérieure Nationale de la Marionnette at charleville mézières dans le nord de la France, uh, de 2008 jusqu'au 2011. Après, je suis retournée en Afrique du Sud. You, you were supposed to speak in English. Oh, you said. yes, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it is difficult because sometimes French comes easier. <laughs> Um, is it okay if I speak in French? Ah, oui. oui. <laughs> et donc, euh, euh, je suis retournée en Afrique du Sud, et, euh, mais j'aimais toujours euh, dessiner, parce que quand je suis arrivée en France, je ne pouvais pas parler français, et donc j'ai euh, appris, euh, oh, I, I um, connected with the world in, with drawing. So then, um, uh, et le film d'animation, c'est aussi un travail marionnétique, et... Donc, du coup, euh, dans mon atelier, je commençais à faire euh, les films d'animation et euh, un lundi matin ordinaire, uh, that was my first film that I made. And um, I really enjoy it. So now I'm making <laughs> a lot of films. <laughs> Probably because you're South African, when I looked at your film, I immediately think uh, about uh, William Cantridge. Is um, is there a reference for you? Yes, um, I know William quite well. After I finished my studies in Johannesburg, I worked in his studio, and so while he was animating, I, had to, I was his assistant and helped him to erase the drawings. Okay. And um, so from him, I learned a lot about animation and uh, work ethic. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I think he definitely influenced my work. Tell us about the way you did the film technically. Um, I work on a light box using sand, but quite a dark color, so it like, looks more like ink. And what I would do is to, I would start with an image and then using my fingers or uh, paint brushes, move the image little by little to create transitions. Uh, yeah, so it's stop motion working under a camera. Okay, so is is it a technique that you discovered and used for this film uh, specifically, or it is the technique you want to to use in in the future? Uh, um, I really enjoy working in this technique, and I think um, it suits this poem really well because they are like all the events of a day, so it's like quite fluid. And, uh, but, and it is a technique that I have used now for the following film and um, for a film that I just finished now, but um, maybe in a more complex way, working on many layers and, yes, so combining sand with cutouts and things, so it is starting to diversify a little bit. <laughs> okay. Questions from the audience? Michel Lemieux, si. Should I ask the question in French or in English? <laughs> 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 uh, how is it, uh, I'm curious about yes. your relationship with William Kentridge. How is it to work with such a monument like William Kentridge? I mean, um, you probably learned a lot about his way of working, but also his 
mind, this is a, a very prolific uh, thinker. Um, yes, I did learn a lot. Um, he's a very humble man, and um, so working in the Kentridge studio is like becoming part of the family. <laughs> um, the thing about uh, William is always drawing <laughs> and always busy, like he thinks with his hands. So I think one of the most important things I learned from him is maybe not to overthink an idea, but just to start by trying things. Um, so I'm always surprised like uh, when uh, he's, he's working with a lot of people from Belgium. So they would always say, yeah, like, three hours after their arrival, they would already be cutting things out. And <laughs> so, yeah, that's, it, it's, it was really fantastic. So, yeah. <laughs> Une autre question, another question. Yep. Well, sand animation is well known for being uh, a very long process and can send the animator mad. Uh, did you put any digital processes into the, into the manufacturing of it? to ease your madness? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I only worked uh, with uh, stop motion software and seeing that I'm not really from an animation background, I, especially for this film, I didn't really know compositing software. So what you see there are the pictures that I shot on the camera. There's very little post-production on this film. You see. When I when the film was finished, I uh, would uh, I would have liked to see it another time because I, I couldn't understand all that, and mm. I, I was wondering if it was about um, um, an an what's the name? Not uh, sorry, my English is no no. So, um, what what was the um, the thing that made you um, want to make that film? Is there a story? Um, um. Yes, uh, so this film is based on a poem um, written by Rinalda Kampfer, a poet about my age. And it basically tells the story of a girl growing up uh, in a ghetto, like a, a neighborhood with a lot of violence and things. And it tells her journey going to school and then she basically witnesses all these things, but it's so part of everyday life. Um, and then, you know, in the end, it's basically, she's just summing up what happened today. You know, there's a dead body in the street and a mother crying. And so, yeah, it's a story about violence in the everyday life. And uh, I have a lot of compassion and empathy for the story. So that's why I wanted to make the film. How did you discover this poem? Uh, I... Um, I read it a couple of years ago when her uh, book came out, and it really touched me. Um, my sister was working as a medical doctor in that same uh, area. area where, and my sister told me, it's like, you have to read this because this is really, you know, the truth. And it just touched me. But then, like, about a year later, there was a South African project called Film Fersha, and that's a collection uh, uh, where uh, the Afrikaans Cultural uh, Society Artica Fia commissioned 12 different animators to each do an animation for a poem. And this poem was like one of the poems that we could choose. So that's, okay. that's when I knew, okay, <laughs> I have to do this. <laughs> so, yeah. Another question. Thank you very much. Thank you. Naomi. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Merci.